Hello procrastinators and welcome to Nerdcube's Poop Games of the Year Awards 2013. Yes, I will be going through the worst games of this year, but just sort of wading into the murky brown waters of awful video games and plucking out the worst pieces of fecal matter I can find, slamming them on the screen and going, these are awful for your audio-visual entertainment needs. Uh, I do want to, uh, before we begin, say opinions. These are my opinions. I have to say that because some of these games aren't generally what I consider to be bad games, but I do include things in this that were disappointing or had, like, mechanics that are really iffy and, like, dodgy sort of shit. You'll see what I mean later on. But you could argue that some of these are okay games and some people will have these in the best games of the list. Fantastic. I thought they were toilet potatoes, so they're going on my list. Uh, I also wanted to make, uh, tomorrow there will be the best games of the year in the Totally Not Poop Awards. And I want to have five really bad games that I go through today and five really good games that I go through tomorrow. But I, 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 I then wrote a list of all the worst games and the best games. I came up with eight bad games and like 40 something good games. So it will be ten games tomorrow. Uh, because there was a lot of good stuff. This was a really good year for games. There's just a few things that I have to kind of point out and go at. Shall we get started? In fifth place... Tomb Raider. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're all saying already. But it's a good game of motion there. Honestly, it wasn't a Tomb Raider game. And as a fan of Tomb Raider, that's enough to kill it for me. Like a huge fan of Tomb Raider. Because I love exploration and puzzles. As you're very well aware of this. They're the two things I love. And those are things that this game just told to fuck off. You went, no, we don't need those. We're going to do character development. I couldn't give a shit about Lara's character. I've never given a shit about Lara's character. What makes you think I care now? Every time you try and do that, you make something like Angel of Darkness, and I stop caring. But the distinct... I mean, apart from... I'd, I'd say the distinct lack of puzzles. There were like three or four tiny rooms where the game went, All right, fine. Okay, there's some history of puzzles in Lara's thing. Do a puzzle, and you push one block, and it goes, Hey, you did it, trophy. Now fucking get back to the crying and the being stabbed. As, as, a, as a Tomb Raider game, it massively failed, and it was seriously disappointing to play. It was so, so disappointing. It, it, it broke my heart. It broke my heart and killed another series. But anyway, that's fifth place. In fourth place, Sim City. Yeah. Sim fucking city. Honestly, not played it yet. Uh, not for lack of trying. When I was at some expo, it was com they couldn't connect it to the internet, so I couldn't play it. And that's the reason it's in my list. It's always online DRM. We should have knocked this shit out quite a while ago. It, it, they said they did claim that it was actually very important for the online and the whole experience was built around this online stuff, but that was bollocks! People have got through it and can play it offline now, and it's, it's still single player. If you want to play single player, you have to do it online. Which it's, it's, it assumes you're a pirate. I don't want to buy a game and then the people who sold it to me go, oh, let's just check that constantly. It's like sitting in a theatre and the attendant sits next to you and every four seconds asks to check your ticket. And if you don't produce it instantly, he throws you the fuck out of the thing and then it makes you start the movie again when you go back in. That's what it is. It is a pointless system that criminalises innocent users. And it's gonna, it's just, no, fuck off always online DRM. Something that should fuck off more is third place, Beyond Two Souls. Fuck off, Beyond Two Souls. You're not a game. Stop pretending to be a game. I know what you want to be, some interesting experience. But really, really, no, fuck off. I know it got some people went, it's the Messiah, and other people went, it's shit. And those second people were intelligent. Um, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> calm, calm. I'm going to have a calming second now. Yes, Beyond Two Souls was... Um, just a failure of what it was trying. They, they basically went, look, it's all about choices. And then, I mean, I even showed it in that video. The choices just don't matter. They don't. Like, if, you, if the game assumes you're going to do stuff, and then when you don't do it, it's like, well, we're just going to keep going this way. What? Why are you doing that? It's like the lady started crying, getting scared because of the things the game told me to do, and then everybody got dramatic, but I wasn't doing anything. I was like, why is this happening? It threw me out of the game a lot. It was really quite... There and I know and and it was just a, at the end again at the end it was just pick your ending and then they slightly tweak some things including does a guy have an eye patch oh I'm involved with this story anyway Beyond Two Souls takes my third place in second place unsurprisingly Right to Hell Retribution <laughs> Right to Hell Retribution is a game that if it was in alpha state I'd go oh this is pretty shabby for an alpha it's it's just it's it's just like I just, um, it, it's not, it's not a thing. It's not finished. I don't know why anybody ever thought it was a good idea to put that out and go, look, it's a thing. We did this. 
No, I, if, honestly, did you know if you complete Ride Tale Retribution, the credits come up? Everyone's using a fake name. That is a true story that I just made up right then. But it is, it's really, there was, there's nothing, nothing redeeming about Ride to Hell. Because even when you get through the glitchy bits and you get to the mechanics, which don't work, but even if the story is just, what is the story? I mean, because the story is like, you're hunting down why, you're trying to find out why this guy hates your, your dad. I think it was something like, yeah, you, this, why, why is this guy, and you track him down, and he just does. That's really it. I don't, why? I do. Oh. Okay. And that, that's generally like the entire plot, and apart from the weird sexing of ladies with clothes on that I didn't quite understand, and the lots of awful, awful, I can't, there's no words. I don't have the words to put together. And in the same way, they didn't have the code or game assets to put together to make a functional game. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Right Hell Retribution is one of the most unfinished. It's not even... It's not even... Un we need a word that's more unfinished than... Uh, it's barely begun. That's what it is. It's a game that was released when it was barely begun. <sighs> anyway. Now, what the hell? <laughs> you may be thinking. Follows Ride to Hell Retribution. Well, I shall tell you. It may not be what you're expecting, but what was my my worst game of last year was Mass Effect 3 because I said it was the start of single player pay to win and everyone thought I was a twat. Essentially, every comment was, you're a twat, you're a twat, you are a twat, you're a twat, that's wrong, you're a twat. Then Dead Space 3 came out. <sighs> Dead Space 3 came out and featured single player pay to win. Oh my fucking God. Yeah. So this number one slot doesn't go to Dead Space 3. Number one goes to every single fucking game with microtransactions. All of them. A blanket award. All of them. Every single game with microtransactions has been ruined to make money. Every single damn one. I mean, it starts off with things like Candy Crush, which incidentally did come out less than a year ago, if you can for when my awards happened in the Android release, so I can fucking include it in this. Candy Crush, which... Do you think the person who made Candy Crush went, Ooh, I know exactly the game I want to make. He didn't go, Oh, I have a vision and an art and I want to express this. He went, Well, it makes lots of money. But you old. Okay, how do we make that make more money? We make charge people for lives and extra levels and shit. Fantastic, make that. Free to play, freemium, whatever you want to call them games, especially on mobiles, are insipid and just hateful. They are really 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 fucking awful like i'm doing this as a blanket thing you may be going well there's these one or two games you know what fuck them i it, the fact we have to lose okay games like tribes ascend and planet side 2 into this list it's fair it, I, that's fine it, just sometimes you have to throw out a few babies if you're trying to drain the ocean of bathwater i don't know what i mean shut up and don't think about it but now we've got games like the new angry birds games which has like a car that you buy for hundreds of pounds or something it's, what? How is that micro anymore? You're not even pretending they're microtransactions, just going, fuck it. You look at the top grossing list, the top, like, a hundred games probably features three or four games you actually pay money for. Free-to-play is a lie. It is a flat-out lie. You start a free-to-play game up, and the whole game is built around trying to lure you in and be lovely at the start, and then it just gets far too hard, and you're attached to the game, and so you start spending money on it. They're just... It, it, it's just the way that these games work and it's awful because none of them are worth merit none of them are worth mention no fucker in the entire game industry is gonna go oh candy crush was the best game of this year and if they do they should fuck off the level of greed that comes into these games is just beyond it's just mind-blowing there is nothing in these games they are all fucking clones of each other and all clones of successful games and they just glue in oh now you have to pay money for these bits and what's worse is these have now got the fucking microtransactions have now got their way into real games. I mean, I've already mentioned Dead Space 3 and Dead Space 3's microtransactions. Did you hear what, what the guy from Visceral said about the microtransactions? I actually bookmarked this early in the year and went, I'm coming back to that because that's the stupidest thing I've ever read in my entire life. Uh, the guy from, when talking about the microtransactions, the guy from Visceral who made Dead Space 3 says, There's a lot of players out there, especially players coming from mobile games, who are accustomed to microtransactions. They're like, I need this now, I want this now. They need instant gratification. So we included this option in order to attract those players. So if they need the 5,000 tungsten short of this upgrade, they can have it. This guy openly admits to going, Well, people will pay for it, so why the fuck not? 
Do you think there would have been a crafting system in Dead Space 3 if this guy didn't see this and think about this? If, he, if the bloody EA masters... Because I know the people who actually make the games have to be the puppets of the giant people at the top and go, me, make money, make money now. Because Dead Space 3 was considered an official failure because no one bought it. Probably millions of people brought it, but that's now a failure in the games industry at the moment. Do you think he wanted this in there? Do you think the crafting system was in there before they went, oh, we can have microtransactions? These fucking microtransactions are leaking into real games and fucking real games up. I mean... Gran Turismo! Gran Turismo 6 is going to have these. Forza's got these sort of things. But Gran Turismo is a series that I've always considered to be like some guy's vision. It's, it's very different, Gran Turismo, from everything else in the world. And it's, it's always been really different. But now you can pay money. You can pay money to speed up your progress through Gran Turismo. The guy uh, who made Gran Turismo 6 tweeted, this game is just offering an alternative path to busy people. So if you're a busy person and you have given this guy money to play his game, fuck you. Fuck you for thinking that that's all you had to do. If you wanted to enjoy this game and you wanted to just drive a certain car, fuck you. You're not allowed. You have to pay him more money. I mean, because of the cost of the money. Because you buy the actual in-game currency now. Because it's not DLC anymore. Fuck no. It used to be expansion packs and then it was sort of DLC lots of little bits. And now all the bits are in there but you have to sort of pay to speed yourself up. And because of that... People are making more grindy games. The games are getting slower and shittier for people who don't want to pay. You pay 60 quid and then you've just got to keep paying. And I know some of you are going, oh, but Dan, it's optional. It's, op it's not fucking optional. They are ruining games to do this. And, and fucking, I was right last year when I said Mass Effect was the thing. This is going to be the thing that fucks the industry over in the next year. Especially now we're jumping into a next generation. This is going to be the thing that's going to fuck a lot of games over. Your single player games are going to get slower. They're going to get more grindy. And they are going to have these insipid, fucking, evil, hateful microtransactions in them. They're just going to try and drain every fucking penny out of you. And do you know why? Because you fuck nuts will pay them. Stop paying for fucking microtransactions, the lot of you. <sighs> right, so that was the Poop Games Awards. I did give that to several thousand games at the end there, but fuck it. It's the mood I'm in. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, I will be a lot happier, and I'll be talking about games that aren't revoltingly shite. So as you can imagine, mostly indie games. Thank you for watching, and ta-ra. Cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird